Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at the area of rectangles and triangles today. Um, first off, let's talk a little bit about what area is. Area, or also known as surface area, is generally speaking kind of the inside part or how much space is being covered by a certain shape or polygon. In this case, we're going to be talking about rectangles and triangles. Um, another way to think of it is how many little squares can you draw to cover, this is a rectangle here, how many little squares would it take to cover over this entire rectangle? Um, because the number of squares that cover something is measured, it's going, the final answer is going to be in square units. So we would say this is one square centimeter, this is two square centimeters, three squared centimeters. And we can count four, five, six, seven, all the way across. And there are 42 squares here covering this rectangle. So we would say that this, the way we would say it is that this is 42 square centimeters. It's usually written in this way, with the squared kind of raised to the power, centimeters raised to that power. But we would say this as 42 square centimeters. That would be the area of this rectangle. So the way that we calculate area, um, you might have noticed in that diagram before that the area of that rectangle, we could have counted it, but it would have been easier to just multiply the length times the width. All right, the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. That's one of the easiest areas to discover. It's really quite straightforward. You just take the length and you multiply it times the width. And the next area equation is the area of a triangle. And I'll show you a little bit about why this is the way it is in just a minute. But first, I'd like you to write that down. The area of a triangle is one half of the base times the height. So those are the two equations that you'll need for calculating the area of a rectangle and also for the area of a triangle. You can go ahead and pause this and make sure you have that written down. We're going to go ahead and show some examples of finding the area for both. So here is a rectangle. Um, if we draw our squares over top of that, we could count how many squares it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve squares or twelve square meters. We could do that, but once it gets bigger, you don't want to be doing that every time. So we'll, we're also going to use the area equation for a rectangle. Area is equal to the length times the width. The length of six times the width of two. We'll multiply that and that gives us twelve meters and we raise that to the power of 2 to, to make that represent 12 square meters. Now, we have calculated that by counting. We've also shown that that will work by multiplying, and it will always work out for the area of a rectangle. And so showing lots of examples of rectangles it would be kind of silly because they're all exactly the same. But let's go ahead and switch over and show a couple examples of triangles. The first example I'm going to show you of a triangle is to try and demonstrate why this equation works. Here's our triangle. Same squares that we have there. Notice this is the same height and has the base of six meters, just like that rectangle did in the previous example. But you'll notice that it is half of the rectangle. Right? If we counted the squares, we would have one full square, two full squares, three full squares, and then this one and this one would go together to give us four. And then this one and this one would go to give a, together to give us five. And then this one and this one would go together to give us six. So you can see with a right angle triangle that we can also count the squares pretty easily. But we're going to use the equation to also solve it. So the area of a triangle is one half of the base times the height. The base is the, this here along the bottom, the base. And that's the length of the bottom of the triangle. And the height is how high we go to get to this vertex. So two meters is the height of this triangle, and six is the base. So we would write this out as one half times six times two, which gives us six square meters. We know that. We just counted it. But we've shown that the equation also works. All right? And it will work for every triangle, whether it's a right triangle like this one or not. 
using the same basic principle that you can take it and basically a triangle will be like half of a rectangle. All right. The trick is with triangles, oftentimes your questions will look a little bit more like this. All right, where they'll give you a lot of pieces of information and some pieces that you don't really need. So this triangle has a base of four inches. It has the height of four inches. And this side length is 4.47 inches approximately. We have to be sure that we identify the height and not the side length. So we can cross this one off. This is, we don't need that one. What we need is the height of the triangle from the base, 90 degree angle from the base to the vertex. All right? That's what we need. So when we calculate this, we can use our square pattern here again. And you'll see if we were to count all of them, we would get half of this rectangle covered. Or you could look at it as taking, you could take this one here and kind of move it over to there and you'd have an exact opposite of this triangle, only upside down. Okay, so if it helps to think of it in terms of how many squares it covers, that's fine. But all we really need to do is to look at this equation and make sure we pick out the base, in this case 4, and our height, which in this case is also 4. So half of 4 times 4 is 8. These are inches that we're measuring in, so these would be 8 square inches. That's the area of this triangle. I'm just about to call it a rectangle. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is what we have for two examples for finding the area of a triangle. Remember, you want to have this equation for the area of a rectangle. It's, it's the length times the width. And then for the triangle, it's half of the base times the height. Basically the same equation, only we're dividing it in half. And that's how we would find the area of a triangle and also the area of a rectangle. doesn't matter what kind of triangle it is. It can be kind of off to the side. It can be an obtuse triangle, a right triangle, an acute triangle. It doesn't matter. All triangles, when you get the base correct and the height, a 90 degree angle from the base to the vertex, you'll be able to use that equation to find the area.